So Len, I'm going to make you the presenter, which means don't, 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 that you'll be asked to share your screen and also you'll need to unmute yourself, Len. I hope that's cool. Hello, Len. Oh, okay, you got me? Oh, we got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you need to share your screen or not, mate. Great. If you don't no, I don't all. need to share my screen. I'll just, um, I'll just talk. All right. So a little kind of introduction for Len. So Len is uh, like Anthony, one of our AOE coaches. Um, his own Amazon business is doing very, very well. And I asked um, uh, Anthony and Len and also Niraj, who will speak in a little while for you, to come on and talk about some different things tonight and to help you guys get a different understanding, a different way of thinking about an Amazon business. So Len, what are you going to show us tonight? What are you going to talk to us about tonight? Okay, I'm just um, addressing the a question from Yvette Wayne. Great. And the question was, um, how long should you wait before st starting the ball rolling for your second product? And should mm. it be in the same niche? So I'll just Great talk question. to this, Neil. Hmm. Yep. Uh, so interesting question. Um, so look, there's there's no reason why you you can't start researching your second product really as soon as you've got time. So in in fact, you may have already done um, that research before you order your first product, um, especially if you've got branding in mind. Um, you know, if 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 you are going into your first product with branding in mind, then um, it's good to have an idea of of what products you see is following uh, that you can include in the branding. But what, you're, what you'll find is that um, cash flow will really determine when you can actually make an order for your second product. Um, so you've got to um, make sure that you, you plan your second product with cash flow in mind. Because what's going to happen with your first product is that um, it's going to be your priority for a while. You're going to have to keep that product in stock. Um, so you need to focus on that first. Um, ideally, uh, you want you want to keep some money in reserve in the original budget, so that you you have got some money to make that second order. So really, you can you can start the ball rolling as soon as possible, um, but it's just as important to plan that uh, second product and the cash flow together. Is uh, is what that I have I have found. I think that's really solid advice and most people kind of ignore this concept of cash flow. They just think they're going to be able to launch a hundred products onto Amazon Len and they don't really take cash flow into consideration. Yeah, because you, you really find out when you, you make sales, but mm. the money doesn't flow back straight away. That's right. Um, because for a start, it, it takes Amazon, and, and especially in the last you know four months or so, it's taken Amazon, you know, more than just a couple of days to deliver it. That's but exactly right. what what they do is they wait a week, um, mm. you know, because of non deliveries and refunds and things like that, before they actually acknowledge your sale, and then you've got two weeks um, before you might get paid for it. Yeah, so, so I'm I'm going to repeat that because that's that's bears. Worth, worth saying again, so when you sell something on Amazon, Amazon doesn't book the sale, so to speak, for a week because they want to make sure that nobody's going to refund it um, because they know at the minute, like deliverers, delivery times are crazy at the minute, aren't they, Len? Yeah, well, the last few few months, it's it could take up to you know, a week to two weeks to actually so, ship it. And because it's, of that... It's, it's a lot better now. Yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. Um, because of that, um, there are there was a time when people were refunding because they weren't getting their stuff in time. So that's where they're holding on to the money. But the cash flow thing is very, very important. Something that most people don't really consider. We all want to have 100 products launched, um, but it's having the cash behind you to facilitate that and also the, the, the time as well. So you have time and resources. It's important you have both of those two things there. Uh, Yvette, any kind of follow-up question for that? Oh, Yvette saying, thank you so much, Len. That's really great advice. Uh, right. Lauren says that's spot on. 
I've still got the second part of that question yet. So please go ahead. Go for it. I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> so on on that question of the same niche, I think if you've if you have your first product up and uh, and you're wondering if the second should be in the same niche or not, the answer then is maybe and maybe not. Um, it's one of Neil's answers, I think. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I, I would be thinking about what the rationale was on that first product, because often, you know, it can be about getting a product up and getting a start, getting experience, etc. Um, you know, if that first product is done that, um, objective achieved, and that was a great learning experience, etc. Then for your product two, you probably don't want to limit um, your options to the same niche. However, if, if that product um, is the one that you want to build a brand around and you know, you're, you're prepared to sort of go down the track of registering a trademark for the brand, um, which might cost one to two K, um, if that's the case, then yeah, um, stick with stick with that that niche uh, or that category, and build a brand around it. I like that. That's really solid advice, Len. Thank you so much for that. That was really good. No worries. Um, anybody that's interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching from Len, I'm going to put a link in here, send to all, uh, and Len is one of our Amazon experts, of course. And as you can tell, there's kind of more to building an Amazon business and more things to think about that you may have realized. And so it's really great to have somebody there who knows what they're doing and can help you kind of navigate that really quickly as they're going through. All right. Hey, Neil here. Just before you go away, that was a question that I got asked on my regular Monday night Q&A session, which I have with the members of the Aussie online entrepreneurs. So if you're interested in joining us as an Aussie online entrepreneur, then you can click on the link below to find out a lot more about that. And, uh, and also as a special thank you for watching this video, I've got a, a great book that I want to give you uh, for free. It's a current bestseller on Amazon and it teaches you everything that you would need to know about starting a business uh, here in Australia on Amazon. So uh, you can see that just up there. So if you'd like to get a copy of that for free, then again, just click on the link below and uh, you'll get a copy of that. You'll get to taken to a page um, where you can get a copy of that for absolutely free. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet from one of my Aussie online entrepreneur Q&A sessions and uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also like this video. And if you've got a question that you would like answering, then post it in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to answer it, whether on one of these videos for you or directly in the comments directly below. All right, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time on the next of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs Amazon FBA Australia videos. See you soon.